Okay, so we took apart some old UPS power supplies, and they had these huge capacitors on them. Look at these things, they're beasts. I want to use these in a project, but it can be very difficult to, to desolder these things. The reason is because on the back here, there's a massive copper heat, heat sink. If you try and use a solder sucker, or even if you just try and desolder these pads, it won't work. You know, you can try putting flux on there, you can try heating it, you'd have to preheat the whole board probably. And even then, you know, you've just got a massive heat sink. So how can I get these capacitors off the board? Well, as crazy as it sounds, we're going to saw this off. Saw them off to reduce the footprint of the copper. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick this in the vise, and I'm going to saw between the capacitor legs. So that is now partly sawn off, and uh, what I'm going to do next is just saw, saw again off to get the individual pieces off. So I'll just stick this back in the rise. Oh, look at this, I've got to go all the way in. And uh, I just want to get these off, obviously, individually. This will be a little bit more careful this time because the, not, the gap isn't so big. But, um, right, I'll be, get back to you once I've done this. Okay, so I'm just finishing off this sawing. So that's now off. You can see the capacitor's not damaged or anything like that. Now what I'm going to do now is saw, I basically want access to each of these individual pins. I want each of these individual pins on their own little bit of copper so that it's much easier to desolder them. So I'm going to cut along here, here and here and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you when that's, uh, when that's done. So now I have, I've soldered off uh, I've soldered off. I've sawn off um, each segment. So there's only a small heat sink on each pad. Now I'm going to desolder these. You have to excuse me, I'm a little bit tired. I uh, didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so if I sound like I'm a little bit spaced out, it's because I am. Okay. So now I've got my soldering iron nice and hot. I'm going to try and remove one of these. So I'm going to add a little bit of solder on there to begin with just to get the thing flowing and then what I'm going to do is try and lift it off once it melts all the way through see that? so see look how easy that was to actually remove and um, so I put a little bit of uh, solder on there this just you know wets it a bit adds a bit of extra flux on there and of course then this allows it to melt all the way through which allows me just to remove that off I'll do the next couple so you can see. Uh, okay, that one's being a bit tricky. There we go. That one had a bit more copper on the board. So finally, a bit of copper just so that a bit of um, solder set flows through. And then, um, there we go. So there we go, we've desoldered all of the pins. And if you look at the pins, they're, you know, they're perfectly fine. So, and if you look at the thickness of this copper and of these boards, if you tried to do that with a solder sucker, you know, you'd, what would happen is you'd end up with bits at the bottom, solder at the bottom of the pins sticking to it and you'd never remove it and you'd you'd never remove it with um you know when it was on the whole pcb i mean you might do but it would take a hell of a lot of heat and a hell of a lot of effort okay so there you go that's how you can remove um power electronics from big heavy copper boards using the aid of a saw so there you have it i've desoldered a big power capacitor 250 volt 40 microfarads um, with the aid of a saw.
So you might be thinking, well, why bother doing that? Well, imagine it's cheaper for one if you get these for free. It's a lot cheaper than paying for them. You know, and this might be five five pounds, you know, eight, eight or nine dollars for, for one of these. So if you can get old equipment and get these things out, you can save a lot of money. And it's good, it's recycling things, it's reusing what other people have thrown away, which is good. Also, you don't have to wait. If you've got this stuff hanging around, just needs to be taken out, you don't have to wait for it to be delivered. So there's a load of reasons why you'd want to just take these things out. And uh, it's kind of cool anyway. So there you go, that, that's it really. And then we can do some cool things with these things. Uh, anyway, I hope that was uh, useful and thanks for watching.